promise we will leave Eos tonight. I also promise we're doing all of this stuff first. Oh. Oh, -ho! a nifty box. Hi there, nifty box. Give me all your stuff. I'm sure it's important. Wee! Ow. I did not know there was that much of a drop. Automated protocols activated. Deploying forward station. Enemies incoming. Hi. Oh, you actually kind of matter a little. Now's the time to attack. Only a little, though. Sure is a lot of shit in those four in those uh, hidden caches. I'm gonna assume that some of it matters. So much violence. PB, there was no violence. We specifically avoided the violence. All right, EOS viability 100%. Hurrah! Ow. Fucker. Good one. Okay. So, uh, that's all of the dinky little side missions done, aside from a couple more things. We need to uh, return to Prodromos to report these smugglers and we need to kick the cat off this fucking rock. So, you know what? Let's kick the cat off the fucking rock and then we'll y y y take a victory lap or something. I don't know. Seems like a generally good idea. Hi there. Are you the barracks? Let's do this! You appear to be the barracks. Bane, we're coming up on the barracks. Stay sharp. Shouldn't be as many here as the base. No reason to get cocky, though. Crossing the gun! Get shot in the head. Get shot in the head. I hate you, you should. Get shot in the head. Hi there. Die. Okay, do I need to do anything in here or just open doors and kill Cat? Alright, let's open doors and kill Cat. Cora, how goes the Cat killing? Hi, are you alive? Is there something in... Buddy, are you invisible in there? There's an invisible guy! I didn't know you had a turn invisible guy. Cool. Oh. You also have a regular guy. I think that's the last of them. Not bad, little doc. Not bad. That is seriously the worst nickname. <laughs> yeah, I'm not a fan of being called little duck. Also, oh Thanks. Okay, you've, you've brought me back in the space car. Good. Hi, Bane. Damn good work out there, Pathfinder. Thanks. Wanted to extend my thanks in person. You did a hell of a thing, taking out all those ket. You showed me where to head. Ah, you would have been fine without me. But you didn't drive all this way for me to kiss your ass. Here, your reward. Glad someone from the Nexus is competent. That's me. I'm competent. Stay safe, Masani. That's the goal. Yeah, that, I would say that counts as a cat presence. It also counts as a cat fucking enormous building. Mission might as well say investigate the cat fucking enormous building. Hi. Okay. Direct acknowledgments. That's progress. 
Okay, can I get in the, into your uh, weird bubble? No, I cannot. Hmm. Let me into your weird bubble, guy. Oh, hey. There are just a bunch of cat here. Oh, I'm glad we decided to come at it from this angle, then. Die. Hey, you up there. Fuck you. Ow. Hey, you over there. Fuck you. Cora, why are you in the middle? Oh, well, you're, you charged and then couldn't flamethrower because you don't have flamethrower. All right, well, sucks to be you, I suppose. Hey, buddy, get dead. Thank you, buddy. Oh, they have a... Yep, circle strafe the turret. Circle strafe the turret, Sarah. Okay, then. Apparently, there's a thing here. Hello, a thing here. Let me in. Terminal active. Remain in range. Okay. Oh, so we have to stay in the circle. Well, fine. Cora, I trust you know what you're doing. PB, I'm not so certain. What in a million? All right. Here you go. I mean, I can leave this circle and go kill the cat now? Yes, it does. Hi! Sucks to be you, buddies. I'm free of my weird circle. <laughs> I've escaped Scientology! Alright, are you all dead? You appear to be all dead. Means I can take your shit. Yeah! <laughs> it's my shit now! Wonderful box. Yeah, but I'm awesome. Not here to impress people. You're on fire. Oh hi. Die. Get meleeed. Get assault rifled. Uh, the next one. Ow. Hello. No. What am I supposed to do? Use console. Set the shield generators to overload. Now that sounds like a good idea. Hi. No. Don't overwhelm me. I'm not an animal. How many of these guys are there? A lot. To fight. Sabotage. Sabotage. Sarah, you're gonna die. All right, get away from there. Quick and clean. That was neither quick nor clean, PB. Okay, where are the dudes? Gravity goes away in three, two. Okay. 
Okay, then. We'll do it better this time. Great. Alright, so when did the dudes spawn in? Oh, look, the dudes have spawned in. Now, this time, we're gonna be smart. And we're not. And we're, on the move. we're not gonna immediately charge in and get our shit wrecked. Good job. See how much easier shit is when you do shit well? Actually approach with a plan and use options. Ooh, overload the shield array? I'll overload a shield array. I'll overload the shield array all the live long day. Hmm. Can't it, though? Oh, more dudes? Didn't realize there were more dudes. Hi, dudes! Yeah, yeah, what happens if I use, uh... Hey, you're dead. Imagine that. Pop your head up. Come on. Oh, really? You're gonna run away? Alright, fine. Listen, we can do this the more annoying way. <laughs> Cora and I had the same idea. Good job, Cora. What do you think these guys are? Oh, I love there being a jump button in Mass Effect. Mass Effect with the jump button is an excellent video game. Hi. Oh. Running ammo. Get dead. You're dead. <laughs> You're also dead. Oh, I got behind you. This place is massive. Yes, it is. No wonder they were able to take out sites one and two. What in the name of fuck is that awful sound? Are you the alarm? Can I turn you off? If I can turn off the alarm, that seems like a thing I should do. Alarms disabled, Pathfinder. Hooray! Now they don't know that we're coming and wrecking their shit. That, um... Yeah, sure, let's go with that. Oh, are there more dudes? There are more dudes. Nobody needed there to be more dudes. Running ammo. Eat a little of this. Hey, look, a box full of stuff. My stuff. Get dead. Oh, off you go into fuck. <laughs> Get security console. Been disabled by remote security lockout. Oh, locate all three security consoles to... Okay. Fine. Ah, you're dead. Oh, buddy. Get dead. Good one. How long the cat has been here? Probably before side one. It takes time to build something like this. Okay, so we need to get out and go this way. Okay. Can we just... Sarah, can you just hop out the window? Thank you. It's so much easier than doing things the hard way. And I got a health top up. Oh, everything's coming up, Goo Cows.
Lockdown lifted. Hooray. Command center access granted, huh? That just seems stupendous, really. More cat. Oh, hey, more cat. Die! There. Let's hope that stops them. Hope that stops them, Sarah. There's 800 of them. More cat. Ah! Gravity goes away. Can't can't deal with visual glitches. Good God, how deep does this thing go? Eliminate the outpost. Ca oh no, it's an orb guy. Take you fuck, what are the orb guys called? Ascendants. Oh, fuck. I actually don't like dealing with ascendants. Oh, that's in. Oh, he's. Okay. Well, actually, he's, he's kind of a chump. Do you have an orb? Sort of. You have a lot of friends. You have no ammo for this. Okay. Alright, listen. That's fine. We'll find more somewhere. Yeah, that's the plan. We'll find more ammo. There is no ammo out here. Okay. Oh, there's ammo over here. All right, we're totally fine. Leveled up. That's good. Great shot. That's team. <laughs> That's it. The base is offline. Everything is. Look down there. Look down there. I see a planet with stuff on it. Okay. We're going to turn in the quest for the scavengers, and then we are going to leave Eos. Oh my god. We're going to leave Eos and never return. Never, ever, ever return. I'm so excited to never come back to this rock. It's going to be annoying when the main quest takes us back here, and this is the site of the dramatic finale or something, but in the meantime, we never have to be on this rock ever again I'm sick of this rock update remote supply okay supplies lost to outlaws minor recovery but a bad scene all around we'll have to be careful recommendations noted pathfinder okay kind of thought there would be a person to talk to but whatever hi bye don't tell me anything. I don't want to hear your quests. I don't want to hear about your dead dads. I want to get on my boat. And I want to talk to my friends on my boat. And then I want to go advance the main quest. I want to go advance the main quest. It's been forever and a day since we advanced leaving to the main Atmo. quest. All clear. I don't care. I don't care about leaving Atmo. I want to talk to my friends on my ship and then advance the main quest. Cat genetics defies everything we know. They're bits of different species, and yet all cat. It's bizarre, horrifying, fascinating, all at once. 
If you and the rest of the team could figure them out, it might make a huge difference. Already on it, Pathfinder. Good. I should get back to things. Sounds good. Hi, Kala. What can I do for you? Uh, did you and Gil make up yet? I couldn't help overhearing you and Gil. Sounded pretty heated. He likes redesigning things, but the ship was built this way for a reason. I wish Gil would respect that. It's nothing to concern yourself about, really. Mm-hmm. What do you think of everyone else on the ship? What do you think of the rest of the crew? I'll admit it. Gil's rather irritating. I said the he rest. on redesigning systems rather than maintaining them. I said the... He likes to do things his way. Mm, that doesn't make it the right way. If you helped to build the Tempest, you must know plenty about her. Just about everything. By memory, it was quite the effort to get her working. The initiative needed absolutely up-to-date technology, which we all had to coordinate, and some of it was rather tricky to acquire. Acquire? By legally and above board, of course. <clears throat> yes. <clears throat> Sadly, yes. the other Pathfinder vessels were lost when the Scourge hit the Nexus. The Tempest is truly unique. Hmm. I'll let you concentrate. You know where I'll be. Sam, do you have a joke? Hello, Sarah. How are those jokes coming, Sam? My algorithm has reached the end of its iteration. Do you believe my sense of humor has improved? You only had like six? Boo. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Thank you. I estimate it is now equal with your own skill at dissembling. Hey. You can't put a... You seriously put in a mechanic where the robot tells jokes and you only gave the robot, like, five jokes? Boo. Oh, right. We have the Moshi on the ship. We've just been traveling with one of the most important Angara in this entire goddamned galaxy. She's just been kicking it with us for weeks while we have handled a whole bunch of bullshit on a backwater rock called Eos. And now, it's time to actually fucking take her home. Let's go to Aya. Let's take the Moshai home, okay? We brought your lady back. Stars and skies light our way. Stars and skies light our way. Mm-hmm. She knows how to play a crowd. <laughs> She's the Moshai. Welcome home. I never thought I'd see it again. Without the Resistance and the Pathfinder, I wouldn't be here. Yeah, but we're making friends here, so we'll say it was a group effort, which it totally was, kind of. We made a good team. We freed more than just the Moshai. And the Pathfinder killed a Ket leader. Uh-huh. We have a lot to celebrate. I promise to lead the Pathfinder to Aya's vault. Ah, yeah, we're, making, we're making friends here. You're still recovering. Take your time. I'm not going anywhere. Not without our help. I'll prepare the vault for your arrival. A shuttle will bring you to me when it's ready. Okay. Thank you, Moshai. We've been alone against the Ket for too long. You've proven it doesn't have to be that way. Yeah! It's time we discussed an alliance between our people. Excellent! We're happy to make room for you on the Nexus. We'll provide an embassy here as well. Our city is open to you. Join us. Yay! Well done, Joel. Report for reassignment. I need um, to stay with the Pathfinder. Uh, he, he, I know he's your boss and all, but uh, he, he, we got a bunk. Jal has already become a valued member of my crew. Of course he has. I see the benefit. Request granted. I need to file a mission report. Don't leave Aya without me. Kind of glad that didn't uh, turn into a whole thing. Surprised it didn't turn into anything of a thing, but I'm glad it didn't turn into a whole thing. Soka, we got those shit you wanted. 
Hi there. You came back. I have bad news. Your supplier, Keldo. The cat got him. Thank you for confirming how he died. You have his supplies? I do. Um, but someone died, though? Supplies. Your friend is dead. Don't you care? Hmm. I grieved for Keldo before I sent you to find his body. He fought for the resistance. Died for it. We still need what he promised. The cat had your weapons. I got them back. Yes. All of them. And Keldo's killer's dead. This is good. Your honest, Pathfinder. Reliable. I'll tell Ephra you did well. Yeah, don't ask someone, are we friends yet? It hinders the process of becoming friends with them. Just general life advice. I appreciate it. I do want our people to get along. Help each other. You proved it. This time, at least. Need to get the weapons where they belong, but... Keldo would want me to help you. Yeah! I have things you can use, and I want to see your credits for myself. Trade? Uh, yes, sure. Wait, you'll, you'll take those? Think I'm getting the better deal. All you walk away with is a number. True. But who knows what that number will be worth someday. Oh my god, it's Bitcoin. Is open to you. Anything you need. Oh my god. As far as the Agara are concerned, credits are Bitcoin. Oh no! Oh no! Wait, I have a second question. How do I sell things to this guy? Hold on. Hold on. This vendor just expressed to me the desire to discover what credits are. How does he have credit? How does... Hold on. Yeah, great. We're done. 29,000 credits. Absolutely. Unbelievable. Thanks. Oh, hey. These are places we were uh, not allowed to be earlier. Very neat. You wise to speak with me before engaging in trade. What? Before engaging in trade? Buddy. <laughs> Arbiter. I just robbed you of 28,000 credits. I never thought I'd see the Moshai again. Least of all, thanks to you. Welcome to the marketplace. I am Arbiter Renarv. Uh-huh. I enforce correct conduct between merchants and customers, resolving any disputes. Okay. As the first outsider to enter the city, you are ignorant of our laws. We should change that. That makes sense. Listen, is there a law against selling everything in your inventory that you're not actively using to a dude who doesn't know what currency is in exchange for a currency he didn't previously have until nine seconds prior to the transaction and thereby, like, quintupling my wealth? Because I'm not saying I sold him Bitcoin. I'm saying I sold him Bitcoin, actually. Who decides what happens to people who break the law? It depends on the grievance. I settle minor offenses right here. More serious ones require a tribunal. Fair enough. What are the laws? Where I'm from, the biggest trade law is don't cheat. Is it different here? I suspect we define cheating differently. What is unfair changes based on perspective. Uh-huh. Such as, you know, doing business in an entirely foreign currency, the value of which you have no conceivable way of knowing. All right, tell me a thing. I don't want to cause any trouble. How do I learn your laws? I'll transmit a full readout. Familiarize yourself with the contents. Personal responsibility is a core foundation of our society. We expect it from everyone. Okay. Understood. Please visit my colleagues in the governor's office and the resistance headquarters. They'll teach you about our culture and what it means to walk freely among us. Your understanding is critical. It would be unfortunate if you accidentally violated our laws. It would. It would indeed. All right. Uh, we got to learn the laws and shit. So talk to Admiral Arbiter Omdal and Vragen and you're making these names up. Come on now. Doing okay? Who knew saving a respected member of Angaran society would open so many doors? 
I've been talking to some of their traders, seeing if we can work things out. Brilliant. Good job. Uh, be nice. I know you like looking for the advantage, but we need to earn their trust first. Don't bargain too hard. You're the boss. No hardball. Okay, some hardball, but only a little. Exultation is just another word for how to kick kill us. Man's got a point. And if you're wrong, if we've been killing for them without realizing it. Yeah. I saw a cat up close when they attacked. It was nothing like our people. Okay. Um. All cat aren't alike. They want to. I mean, all cat are mostly alike in the sense that they're here to fucking murder us. So. The cat weaponize their victims to make you hesitate. And when the cat begin to exalt your people, what will you do then? Fucking kill them! Cat? Insight, Pathfinder. The issue facing us is complex. Come, my friends. Deliberate with me. Come, my friends. Let us argue. <laughs> but no, seriously. What will you do when the ki what? Are you, that lady is basically asking, "What you gonna do, brother, when Ketamania runs wild on you?" But honestly, like, the perfect comeback to what will you do when the Ket begin to exalt your people is, I don't know, what did we do when the Geth exalted our people? By which I mean turned them into husks. We fucking shot them! Like, as a, as a, we did this thing! We did this thing! This is a thing that has been done. It was done by us. You're telling me Sarah Ryder's never killed a husk in her life? I bet she's killed a husk. Husks were all over the place in Mass Effect 1. You couldn't wag a dead husk without hitting a husk. Now, granted, if you had a dead husk, it was probably because you killed a husk and if you killed a husk that means you were in a place where there was a husk and if you're in a place where there's one husk buddy you're in a place where there's 19 husks it's like that old saying about mice if you see a mouse you have mice hi drac helping the moshi opened a lot of doors around here no shit most angara still keep their distance though well you're big well you are a bit of an eyesore hey Speak for yourself. When I saw my first human, I couldn't understand how you keep your blood inside. Skin that thin. Man's got a point. Liam thinks it's time for something familiar. Well, hey, I have something familiar. Something uh, like a conversation at a bar. Apparently you have a quest. Liam, you didn't tell me you had a quest. I might have cared. Good to be back here. Ready to hit those scans? What am I looking for? Moran called out supplies that may have useful properties for our tech. Just need to get Sam's eye on them. Take a stroll. Enjoy the market. Nav sent. Okay, so we have to scan shit. Fine. Not today, Nexus. Liam? God damn it. What's going on? Nothing to worry about. Just come grab a table with me. Okay. So we can't scan that person's goods. Interesting. Pathfinder, you're good here. We'll worry about the data another time. Liam, what's going on? I uh figured we should end up somewhere nice and open. You were being cased. Hmm. Are you getting me in trouble? What was this about? We're not in trouble exactly, but I don't blame them for being angry. Liam. I wanted to get data that would help yields at our outposts. Varan told me what to scan, but I called it off. I still owe her, but it's better than pissing off some gouging hardliner. Sorry I didn't clue you in. It's a security thing. Food is security. Yeah, but it sounds like you're fucking over our new allies, bud! Was this an attempt to copy their methods? Steal secrets? We're not competing companies. It's about learning to live here. Remember my Tempest freakout? I tried proper channels. Got blocked by the Angara and the Nexus. There's only so much Jar can tell us, so I did what we do back in Crisis Response. Bend the rules. Buddy! Buddy! You can't... You cannot be standing here telling me that you thought it was a good idea to fuck over our new friends 18 minutes after they 
offer us an embassy. You stupid cop shitbag. Liam, I deserve better than having this sprung on me mid-market. You're right, of course, you're right. And the Angara are right too. The last people who showed up out of the blue were the Ket, the ultimate users. Yeah! I don't want us getting lumped in with them. And I really, really don't want to ruin the market. And yet! I like Just enjoying time with you. And it's yet! About time something did. And yet. All right, let's get the fuck out of here before you fuck it over even more, fucko. Don't mention the fact that I conned an Angara out of 30,000 credits 10 minutes ago. Let's not push our luck. We'll save the market for another day. Uh, good idea, Pathfinder. We've enough trouble, and probably more coming. Fucking idiot. Fucking incredibly stupid goddamned idiot. We got word from Elodin. Good news? Well, we got another remnant piece. But nothing Angarin. Pay them for their effort. It's not their fault. Pathfinder, did you make it to Havara? I did. I found this Angarin helmet. Does it mean anything to you? This is a pre-Dark Age design. Do you see the black marks? The Scourge targeted this pilot ship. Stars, it's perfectly preserved. I can almost imagine the pilot. He must have been so afraid. I've never seen one of these intact. Do you know how rare this is? I can't even begin to repay you. Yeah, well, I'm just awesome. Why would the Scourge target that ship? It must have been a remnant vessel. Or maybe there's remnant tech in the helmet itself. Can you imagine? Our ancestors using the remnant. You know, Pathfinder, this gets me thinking. If it wasn't for you, we wouldn't even know that helmet existed. What if that's not all we're missing? There could be a wealth of history just out of our reach. So, I'm requesting your help again. Okay. Just tell me what I need to do. I've led digs on every Angar and Homeworld, but there are places I've missed, areas only a Pathfinder could go. Uh-huh. There could be relics sitting untouched for centuries because no one could reach them. Sure. What I ask is this. If you ever find yourself in an area like that, you keep an eye out for artifacts. That's it? Okay. That's it. Keep me in mind as you explore and bring me anything of interest. All right. Uh, where? It'd help if I knew where to look. Any planet could contain something of potential value. My people traveled far. Fair. I know that doesn't answer your question, but just keep your eyes open for me. Okay. Say, how about uprooting your entire life on a whim and come gallivanting around the galaxy mostly just watching me poke at rocks? You're the expert. Can't you just come with me? I'd like to, more than anything, but I'm needed here. My predecessor trusted me to stay and carry on his work, to find answers. No matter how much I miss the adventure, I have a responsibility here. Okay. A few hidden relics coming up. I don't know what I'd do without you. I'll be here if you find anything. Good luck. You'd have, uh, fewer relics. Tell me more about the helmet, I guess? You said the helmet was touched by the Scourge? What does that mean? I forget your people went around for... that. When the Scourge appeared, it targeted remnant ships, broke down their technology. With the drive cores disabled... The ships crashed. But that may not be all. The Scourge leaves a mark on whatever it touches. If it touched this helmet, perhaps the pilot was the target. There may be remnant tech inside the helmet. Or in the pilot. Storms. I hadn't even thought of that. <laughs> Happy to uh, freak you out there, curator lady. Bye. I'll come back when I have something. Stars guide your travels. Cool. We did that thing. Now let's do uh, some other thing. Do, 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 do. Gonna get to Aya tonight. Wait, Rider, we're already on Aya. Good job. You are the subject of a detailed scan by an Angara standing nearby. Oh, am I? Maybe I should introduce myself. Speak to the Angara who scanned you. Cool. Which Angara is that, I wonder? No, seriously, which Angara is that? You there. Scan buddy. Hello there. I'm working. Yeah. You scanned me pretty hard. That wasn't your way of saying welcome, stranger. I wanted to be discreet. You're bad. Noted. What's your interest in me? You're a human. You're an alien on my homeworld. 
Why wouldn't I be interested? You could have asked. Fine. Will you submit to a full spectrum analysis of your biology? Okay. Can't fault you for being curious. Scan away. I didn't think you'd comply. I'm full of surprises. <laughs> that you are. When we face extinction, family is our final comfort. Do you understand that? Dad's a big deal with you. I've spent long enough around your people to understand what family means to you. You only see the surface. Family is everything. Not only the one we have now, but the ones that follow us. What will your family look like in five generations? Ten. How many of you will there be? You're worried there'll be more of us than you. I have 23 grandchildren. I want to know what their grandchildren will inherit. Goodbye, Pathfinder. I see. Well, okay, fine, that's reasonable, sort of. Listen, we did kind of, humans in general have a bad, okay, it's, it's not gonna, it's gonna end very poorly for the Angara. We're going to pretend that it's going to end well, but it's actually going to end very poorly for the Angara. Hi, Froggen. Learned you were coming. I prepared a date about our laws regarding war. Learn them. Thank you. Uh, the cat must be defeated, not at any cost. Won't matter for future generations. Can't. Okay. So, yeah, on the proper conduct of war against the cat. Cool. Arbiter Renav told me to expect you. I prepared a data pad detailing our laws. Read it fully. Okay. Oh my god. I suppose it's good that there are 6,000 pages of laws about people and only 250 pages of laws about war, but there are 6,000 pages! Okay. We did it. Also, you appear to have a quest for me. What's your deal, uh, Enro Boson? Enro Boson? You're doing the whole- there you are. What's your deal, Enro Boson? Pathfinder? Enro Boson? As you can imagine, your arrival raised concerns from Aya's people. Uh, it's reasonable. It'll take a long time to trust strangers again. Which is why they want the Nexus to listen to them. We've set up terminals in the city so people can leave messages for your people on the Nexus. I'd appreciate if you take a look and forward their communications to your people. Okay. So after successfully navigating the entire marketplace, we're given a quest whose objective is to get us to navigate the entire marketplace. Okay. Fine. Sure. Good. Good job. Okay. On we go. Onward. Oh, so I have a choice. Uh... Remember the first time I met the Moshai, one of the greatest moments she's done so much for our people. Uh, you restored it. I don't care what anyone says. I believe you came to us. Go home. This is not your galaxy. You don't belong here. Um, hmm. If you come in peace and friendship. I mean, yeah, listen. We're, they're getting the full unedited thing. We're not making this all sunshine and rainbows for Tan. Tan probably wants it to be sunshine and rainbows. But, uh, No. You're, get, you're getting the bad stuff, too. Let there be unity. Sure. That's good. Uh, Pavoa and Ishare to you all. Okay. You've lived a long life. Whatever becomes of your people, it will reverberate. Be well. Take care of it. That's very nice. We wish you peace and good fortune. Uh, no one will read this. This message will never be read by the Pathfinder. Fuck you. Uh, we're so desperate for allies against the cat, we're willing to make the same mistake with new aliens. Well, no. Here, you, some people think this is utterly pointless, and we should know that. It's not utterly point. Well, it is utterly pointless, but it's not... He was wrong that, that it won't be read by the Pathfinder. The Pathfinder read that it won't be read by the Pathfinder, so ha-ha! The Pathfinder says, fuck you, buddy. Granted, the... Pathfinder says fuck you, buddy, to a lot of people, most of whom are people she's murdering. <laughs> Actually, fuck you, buddy, is one of my go-to kill lines now that I think of it. But, um, I don't have an end to that sentence. Join our fight. Are you at war with each other? Yes! Yes! Yes, we have.
He be- this person believes in our future. Great. We're not editing. We're sending them the things the people say, even if sometimes the things the people say aren't kind or charitable. Because, hey, it turns out these are people. Complicated, confusing, stupid, bullshit people. Just like you and me. Why? What impulse drove your people to cross dark space? Well, it was kind of because we can, and also kind of because what if the Reapers win? Really? Um... Which one of your species actually controls this so-called initiative? Uh, mostly humans and Salarians, with your token Turian and Krogan for morale. Are you even different species or just genetic constructs customized to fill different roles? Um, I don't know. Ask the Asari. Why do you all walk on two legs like us? Ah, evolution, mostly. Unless someone says God, in which case I guess we can't disprove that. Is it so we'd accept you? I, it probably helps. What did you look like before you crossed dark space? Largely this. Pretty much this. Stay off of Favarl. Well, okay, reasonable. Uh, share your gifts. Yeah, sure, we should totally do that. Uh, we won't, um... I don't think we'll be sending any of you to the Milky Way, though. I don't think there are going to be Angara showing up in the Milky Way 1,200 years after the events of Mass Effect 2. That would be strange. All right, I feel like if we actually go to the vault, it's going to be one of those Horizon Forbidden West situations where we try to stop the stream and we say we'll do one more quest, and that takes an hour. So let's not. Hey, thanks for watching. Here's the stream schedule. If you want to click some buttons, it would help a lot. And if you don't, fine. Go away.